Well, we're at the end of the struggle series. We'd like to thank you for just allowing us to journey with you and share a few of our thoughts that are hopefully helpful to you. You might be asking, where do I go from here? How do I wrap this up? And what's next? Well, just as the struggle narrative in the scriptures isn't quickly resolved, your struggle narrative is also gonna continue. All of us have a struggle narrative that will continue. But again, as the struggle narrative in the scriptures has had God's hand throughout, we're hoping that you can now have more tools to see how God's hand is in your struggle narrative. You don't have to be afraid of the struggles. You don't have to turn away from them. You can lean into them. And we hope that you have more courage to do that with the skills that we've talked about in this video. And please remember that we all struggle. We are all are wrestling with things that sometimes we don't quite know how to deal with. And sometimes we could feel like we're on an island, that we're the only one going through that struggle. But as you surround yourself with fellow followers of Christ, allow them to help you through those struggles as you lean into those struggles and allow God to be in that process so you grow and get stronger and be more mature because of it. But you're not the only one. It may feel like that, but you're not the only one. The book of Hebrews tells us that we have a high priest, Jesus Christ, that Jesus is our high priest, and that he is able to sympathize with all of our needs. Jesus went through a lot, and he went through a lot for us, and he is there with us, understands where we are, and will get us through the struggle. Folks, the Christian world needs a genuine faith. We all need to be able to journey inward in order to be authentic about what comes out. You are in a great place right now, having gone through this series, to help wherever you're planted, help people go through a similar journey of going inward and getting down to the root of what's going on in their lives. We hope that you can do that, and we hope that your life uh, also has a deeper and more genuine, rooted faith.